Why Delta Star Transformers are used for lighting loads. For lighting loads, neutral conductor is must and hence the secondary must be star winding. And this lighting load is always unbalanced in all three phases. To minimize the current unbalance in the primary we use delta winding in the primary. So delta, star transformer is used for lighting loads. What is rated speed? At the time of motor taking normal current, rated current, the speed of the motor is called rated speed. It is a speed at which any system takes small current and give maximum efficiency. If one lamp connects between two phases it will glow or not? If the voltage between the two phases is equal to the lamp voltage then the lamp will glow. When the voltage difference is big it will damage the lamp and when the difference is smaller the lamp will glow depending on the type of lamp. Two bulbs of 100W and 40W respectively connected in series across a 230V supply which bulb will glow bright and why? Since two bulbs are in series they will get equal amount of electrical current but as the supply voltage is constant across the bulb, P equals V2 slash R. So the resistance of 40 watts bulb is greater and voltage across 40 watts is more, V equals I dot R, so 40 watts bulb will glow brighter. Why temperature rise is conducted in bus bars and isolators? Bus bars and isolators are rated for continuous power flow that means they carry heavy currents which rises their temperature. So it is necessary to test this devices for temperature rise. What is the difference between synchronous generator and asynchronous generator? In simple, synchronous generator supplies both active and reactive power but asynchronous generator, induction generator, supplies only active power and observe reactive power for magnetizing. This type of generators are used in windmills. What is the difference between earth resistance and earth electrode resistance? Only one terminal is evident in the earth resistance. In order to find the second terminal we should recourse to its definition, earth resistance existing between the electrically accessible part of a buried electrode and another point of the earth, which is far away. The resistance of the electrode and another point of the earth, which is far away. The resistance of the electrode has the following components. The resistance of the metal and that of the connection to it. The contact resistance of the surrounding earth to the electrode. What is Automatic Voltage Regulator, AVR? AVR is an abbreviation for Automatic Voltage Regulator. It is important part in synchronous generators, it controls the output voltage of the generator by controlling its excitation current. Thus, it can control the output reactive power of the generator. What is the significance of vector grouping in us transformers? Every power transformer has a vector group listed by its manufacturer. Fundamentally it tells you the information about how the windings are connected, delta or y, and the phase difference between the current and voltage. Example is DIN means delta primary, y secondary and the current is at zero clock deferred to the voltage. Explain what is used of lockout relay in HTML voltage. The lockout relay is generally placed in line before or after the e-stop switch so the power can be shut off at one central location. This relay is powered by the same electrical source as the control power and is operated by a key lock switch. The relay itself may have up to 24 contact points within the unit itself. This allows the control power for multiple machines to be locked out by the turn of a single key switch. Mention the methods for starting an induction motor. The different methods of starting an induction motor. DAW, direct online starter. Star Delta Starter Auto Transformer Starter Resistance Starter Series Reactor Starter What is the power factor of an alternator at no load? At no load synchronous impedance of the alternator is responsible for creating angle difference. So it should be zero lagging like inductor. How to determine the capacitor tolerance codes? Resolution in electronic circuits, the capacitor tolerance can be determined by a code that appears on the casing. The code is a letter that often follows a three-dimensional digit number, such as 130Z. The first two are the first and second significant digits and third is a multiplier code. Most of the time the last digit tells you how many zeros to write after the first two digits and these are red so pico farads. 
What is laser diodes? Laser diodes are compact transistor-like packages with two or more electrical leads. Lysing occurs when stimulated emission results into the amplification of photon confined to the Lysing mode. These photons hit back and forth between the back and front mirror, and hence a diverging beam emits from the laser diode packages. What is meant by reverse polarity and how it can be fixed? Reverse polarity is referred in a condition where one or more of your receptacles are connected incorrectly. To fix the reverse polarity, check the wire connection at the outlet and inspect your receptacle. A receptacle with reverse polarity will have the white wire screwed to the hot side and the black wire will be connected to the neutral side, if that the case swap the wires and it will resolve the problem. If it persists, a licensed electrician will be needed. What are the advantage of freewheeling diode in a full wave rectifier? It reduces the harmonics and it also reduces sparking and arching across the mechanical switch so that it reduces the voltage spike seen in an inductive load. What is the power factor of an alternator at no load? At no load synchronous impedance of the alternator is responsible for creating angle difference. So it should be zero lagging like inductor. What is the function of anti-pumping in circuit breaker? When breaker is close at one time by close push button, the anti-pumping contactor prevent re-close the breaker by close push button after if it already close. What is stepper motor? What is its uses? Stepper motor is the electrical machine which act upon input pulse supplied to it. It is one type of synchronous motor which runs in steps in either direction instead of running in complete cycle. So, in automation parts it is used. There are a transformer and an induction machine. Those two have the same supply. 4. Which device the load current will be maximum? And why? The motor has max load current compared to that of transformer because the motor consumes real power. And the transformer is only producing the working flux and it's not consuming. Hence the load current in the transformer is because of core loss so it is minimum. What is SF6 circuit breaker? SF6 is sulfur hexafluoride gas. If this gas is used as arc quenching medium in a circuit breaker means SF6 CB. State Thevenin's theorem. According to Thevenin's theorem, the current flowing through a load resistance connected across any two terminals of a linear active bilateral network is the ratio open circuit voltage, that is the voltage across the two terminals when RL is removed and sum of load resistance and internal resistance of the network. It is given by VOC, RI plus RL. State Norton's Theorem The Norton's Theorem explains the fact that there are two terminals and they are as follows. One is terminal active network containing voltage sources. Another is the resistance that is viewed from the output terminals. The output terminals are equivalent to the constant source of current and it allows giving the parallel resistance. The Norton's theorem also explains about the constant current that is equal to the current of the short circuit placed across the terminals. The parallel resistance of the network can be viewed from the open circuit terminals when all the voltage and current sources are removed and replaced by the internal desperately. State Maximum Power Transfer Theorem The Maximum Power Transfer Theorem explains about the load that a resistance will extract from the network. This includes the maximum power from the network and in this case the load resistance is being is equal to the resistance of the network and it also allows the resistance to be equals to the resistance of the network. This resistance can be viewed by the output terminals and the energy sources can be removed by leaving the internal resistance behind. Explain different types of D.C motors. Give their applications different type of DC motors and their applications are as follows. Shunt motors, it has a constant speed though its starting torque is not very high. Therefore, it is suitable for constant speed drive, where high starting torque is not required such as pumps, blowers, fan, lathe machines, tools, belt or chain conveyor etc. Service motors, it has high starting torque and its speed is inversely proportional to the loading conditions that is when lightly loaded, the speed is high and when heavily loaded, it is low. Therefore. Motor is used in lifts, cranes, traction work, coal loader and coal cutter in coal mines etc. Compound motors, it also has high starting torque and variable speed. 
Its advantage is, it can run at nil loads without any danger. This motor will therefore find its application in loads having high inertia load or requiring high intermittent torque such as elevators, conveyor, rolling mill, planes, presses, shears, punches, coal cutter and winding machines etc. Explain the terms real power, apparent power and reactive power for AC circuits and also the units used. Real power, it is the product of voltage, current and power factor that is P equals V I cos J and basic unit of real power is Watt. That is expressed as W or KW. Apparent power, it is the product of voltage and current. Apparent power equals V I and basic unit of apparent power is volt ampere. Expressed as V A or K V A. Reactive power. It is the product of voltage, current and sign of angle between the voltage and current that is reactive power equals voltage x current x sinj or reactive power equals v i sin j and has no other unit but expressed in var or kvar. Explain thin film resistors and wire wound resistors. Thin film resistors, it is constructed as a thin film of resistive material is deposited on an insulating substrate. Desired results are obtained by either trimming the layer thickness or by cutting helical grooves of suitable pitch along its length. During this process, the value of the resistance is monitored closely and cutting of grooves is stopped as soon as the desired value of resistance is obtained. Wire wound resistors, length of wire wound around an insulating cylindrical core are known as wire wound resistors. These wires are made of materials such as constantin and manganin because of their high resistivity, and low temperature coefficients. The complete wire wound resistor is coated with an insulating material such as baked enamel. What is the comparison between JFETs and MOSFETs? Comparison of JFETs and MOSFETs JFETs can only be operated in the depletion mode whereas MOSFETs can be operated in either depletion or in enhancement mode. In a JFET, if the gate is forward biased, excess carrier injunction occurs and the gate current is substantial. MOSFETs have input impedance much higher than that of JFETs. Thus is due to negligible small leakage current. JFETs have characteristic curves more flat than that of MOSFET is indicating a higher drain resistance. When JFET is operated with a reverse bias on the junction, the gate current TIG is larger than it would be in a comparable MOSFET. Ex explain forward resistance, static resistance and dynamic resistance of a PM junction diode. Forward resistance, resistance offered in a diode circuit, when it is forward biased, is called forward resistance. DC or static resistance, DC resistance can be explained as the ratio of the DC voltage across the diode to the direct current flowing through it. AC or dynamic resistance. It can be defined as the reciprocal of the slope of the forward characteristic of the diode. It is the resistance offered by a diode to the changing forward current. What is working principle of operation of a single phase transformer? Working principle of operation of a single phase transformer can be explained as An AC supply passes through the primary winding, a current will start flowing in the primary winding. As a result, the flux is set. This flux is linked with primary and secondary windings. Hence, voltage is induced in both the windings. Now, when the load is connected to the secondary side, the current will start flowing in the load in the secondary winding, resulting in the flow of additional current in the secondary winding. Hence, according to Faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction, amp will be induced in both the windings. The voltage induced in the primary winding is due to its self-inductance and known as self-induced emph and according to Lenz's law it will oppose the cause that is supply voltage hence called as back emph. The voltage induced in secondary coil is known as mutually induced voltage. Hence, transformer works on the principle of electromagnetic induction. Subscribe to our channel, Interview Gig. Visit our website for more articles and interview questions and answers. www.interviewgig.com Like share and comment. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. Click the bell button for latest updates.